I'm a photographer because I can't do anything else with my life. If you take this away from me now, I'm back at Kinko's, I'm going to the coffee shop, I'm working some $8 an hour job. Hey, what's up? Hey. Hey, I'm Zach. Nice to meet you. You want a picture? Yeah. All right. You gonna put me in complex night I'm happiest when I'm making pictures. When I'm pulling my camera up, and I know this person has no idea I'm about to take their picture. They have no idea I'm about to put it on my blog in front of 150,000 people. You know, like, they have no clue the thousands of people that are about to see their hair right now. Bam. Part of me wants to apologize. I'm sorry. Click. <laughs> Ansel Adams, love his work or not, he had a quote that said a good harvest of pictures for him was 12 images a year. You know that guy shot more than 12 pictures a year. If I see a character, then I'm going to follow them until I find an interesting composition or I find good light. And all the pictures you make to get to that one frame, looking for that brilliant second, it all came together. The light, the composition, the focus, and then the moment, the character, the expression. And you can't ever go back and do it again, ever. That's another love of, of street photography for me. It's like, as I'm out here today shooting, if something amazing comes in front of me, I got one chance. I got one opportunity. I got, you know, one shot, one Eminem song to like make that picture. And if I don't get it, I blew it. I like that, you know, that's the hunt. That's the challenge. The whole debate on, you know, have you asked people to take their picture? Do they know? Are you taking advantage of them? Are you invading their privacy? There is something massively voyeuristic about it, but people fascinate me. I'll just see someone in the street and I'll just stop them. Eight times out of 10, people go, okay. Can I shoot a portrait of you? Hey, what's up? Hey. Hey, I'm Zach. Josh. Josh. Nice to meet you. You want a picture? Yeah. I need ATL attitude. Oh my gosh, you catch one of my dressier days. Oh my god. I know, right? <laughs> I love this one right there. That's cool. There are many times I get caught taking someone's photograph. This one guy in particular, he was having an argument with his wife, and I'm kind of just being clandestine with taking the picture, and I get this shot, and then you know, he makes eye contact with me. And he's already pissed off. I see through my viewfinder that he's made eye contact. I take a shot. I just simply pull my camera down and I look at it. And I get this puzzled look on my face like, that's not right. And I take another picture of him. And I look at it again. And now he's full on stopped arguing with his wife and like staring at me. And then I look up just past it. So like if I'm looking at you, I'm just like, I'm studying. I look at my camera and I look. I'm just looking past him as though he's not even there. And I just stay in my spot and I just kind of get a little bit of a Forrest Gump like, way up. Within a minute or so, he's like, ah, oh, he's just some fool. Hey, hey, what's hey, up? Hey, how are you? How are you? You doing all right? Yeah, I'm cool. Yeah? That's yeah? good. So you still taking pictures? Oh, I still do that always. Yeah? yeah? What kind of stuff do you shoot? Yeah, it's up on the wall. Where do you find your models? Oh, everywhere. Yeah. We look back at, at Brisson's work, let's just look at him, one of the masters. We can tell a lot about the time that he lived in, what the city was like back then, the, the fashion that people wore. Photography has historical importance. Photography matters. My name's Unknown. Y'all ain't never heard of me before. I'm coming to you. I'm just like Slammer. My man rapping. I'm looking at this camera. I'm coming to you. I'm straight from Atlanta. That photography took that one nameless person and put them out into the world forever. I love your hair. Oh, we gotta get you better light. Step right over here. I want you just kind of hanging out right here. Perfect, hold that right there. Oh, that's awesome, right there. Are you doing uh, time-lapse? No, no. It's, no. It's always on. Oh, it's always on. Always on.
always on. So you're always on human surveillance? No, I, I manage this mall. Oh, oh okay. okay. <laughs> and it's your word versus a video. Right. And the video always wins. That's smart. Yeah, shout out to Complex, represent downtown Atlanta, zone three. That's where we at right now. That's where we get money at. That's what we do. Welcome to Atlanta.